uh, rotate. So on uh, Monday, Dr. Simpson will check boxes and I'll be talking to him about all of the, the uh, he was actually the, uh, you guys aren't here when they call the COVID. No. So he was one of the doctors that was here, that was here for the COVID. So, but uh, I'll let him know all of the plans that we have in place and we'll get her comfortably back home and they take, because of the antibiotics and everything, um, another day or two. So it could be um, not not earlier than tomorrow, uh, but m not later than, say, Wednesday. Uh, okay. It should be going home? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you hear that, Mama? Yeah. What about uh, PT? I said she was so, uh, so weak. She needs to be PT. She needs to be PT. Yeah, they could set that up. Yeah, they could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll put... Uh, I'll put in my recommendations and mention that to Dr. Simpson as well as the plan manager, who the care manager was, or whomever the care manager is. Oh, it's, uh, it's Marsha Pennell. Right. Mm, okay. So is it, is it working now? Yeah, can I get you to repeat? Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 the miracle part of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one of the things that um, I wanted to point out in life, you know, first of all, God gives us the um, the know-how gives us the, the intelligence and directs us through our training. And we're not taught that. And that's unfortunate that we're not taught that uh, because it would help us. It has helped me through my training and through my uh, caring for patients in the last 10 years. It is fearing God, continuing that, and knowing who's in control of these things because we are just vessels. So I just wanted to point out that Ms. Warren had a miracle. We witnessed it. Amen. Literally, and I promise you literally, on her deathbed right there in front of us. Mm -hmm. And we were, you know, crying and hooping and hollering, you know, in ourselves, in our minds, in our hearts. Um, and we had to collect ourselves and something said, why don't we just pray? Mm -hmm. You know, when all else fails, we have to go back to the source. Amen. We have to go back to where, who's really in control. And, and, you know, stopped it. And so we went into that, and, and that was a wonderful thing. I, I always thank God for allowing me to meet families and giving me the opportunity to bring that spiritualness to the bedside because we should be doing it anyway. Amen. It's really where it starts. And so um, it really was a miracle, I can tell you, because her blood pressure was very low, dangerously low. She had a pretty large amount of bacteria arrive into her bloodstream because of the procedure um, and it was attempting to take a life right before us. Her heart rate went up to an enormous rate as high as 150 beats a minute um, and her normal is around 70 or 80 so it really jumped up there. Uh, she was shivering literally. If you've never seen this thing called rigors or rigors some people call it, it is basically chills and she was shaking out of her skin, if you could have seen it. Mm.